ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode here on the iron man profile today's video is weird some of it took place before the maintenance that happened yesterday and then all of a sudden we had high pixel skyblock to ourselves for a couple hours it was really it was wonky and uh wait till you guys see what i decided to do with it my goodness either way if you guys are excited for today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and uh, without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Super quickly, if you ever find yourself checking out the Hypixel store for some Skyblock gems, a rank, or anything else in between, don't forget to use my career code, code Zach, that's Z-A-C-H, just like my name, to save 5% on checkout. It's a great way to support myself and the channel. I do greatly appreciate everyone who uses my career code. You guys are amazing. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's kind of wonky video. Okay, I'm in the sugarcane farm, honestly getting ready for a sugarcane contest. And um, I just had a couple of beetles spawn. I don't have any spray cans on because the contest starts too soon. But we got a pestermin pesterminator one book. Cool. I don't see the problem is I don't know if I put this on my fermento. I'm not going to lie. I really don't know if I do. Like, yes, I want the bonus pest chance, but the fact that you like can't disable that pest chance is kind of tough like i've heard about a lot of people like putting it on mushroom armor because the stats like double at nighttime or something crazy like that which is very interesting at that point in the game when you're just going for pests you don't really care about your farming fortune but i just don't know if this is worth me putting on my fermento i really don't so i'm gonna hold on to the book i want you guys to let me know in the comments down below do i put this on my fermento or do I put it on another set? Like, do I go for a second set of Fermento just for when I'm farming in between contests? Because I don't want that extra two pest chance being the reason why all of a sudden an extra pest spawns and I don't get my diamond metal. You know, something like that. So it's really tricky. It's weird. Like, you want pests, but you don't want pests at certain times. So it's it's complicated, man. I don't know what I should do with the book. Please let me know. I, I'm actually really curious. So I've had my composter chugging away here. I've been doing my best to keep it going. Basically any chance I log on and we should be able to craft a compost bundle here, which, you know, compost bundle. That's cool. But we should have eight of these things tucked away now. Two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do. Oh my goodness. We can finally get one of our first corners this is actually pretty exciting i think i'm gonna go with this top right corner plot 22 it's calling to me and uh yeah let's unlock this thing eight compost bundles it's gonna give us five skyblock xp and three farming fortune don't mind if we do next one wants 10 man these are greedy greedy people greedy man either way uh it is what it is i also still need to clear off five plots so that's something i need to do before i start building new farms but yeah, happy about that. Been wanting to do that for a while. It's been taking some time, but uh, finally able to. And uh, we just keep chugging away. Is there any like immediate upgrades that I want to do super fast? Uh, actually, yes, there is. With my copper, we should be able to get our last uh, tier 8 crop upgrade. We can. 2,000 copper. I'll still have 2,500 left. Cocoa beans up to level 8. Give me the one skyblock XP. Five cocoa bean farming XP. And now our next upgrade is going to cost 4,000 copper. But uh, yeah, in 40,000 copper, we'll be done with crop upgrades, which is pretty exciting. 10 more XP to get from there. And um, yeah, man, that stuff's pricey, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Okay, we just finished that uh, Sugar King contest. Also, for some reason, every NPC who just visited me all wanted Mutant Netherwart, which honestly, I'm kind of okay with. Uh, there you go, fellas. Hopefully, uh... I don't know, are we doing this again? Are doing this? The, the fake visitors? You guys are wilding for this. But uh, let me also go ahead and craft four enchanted golden carrots really quickly for this dude. But yeah, I've been doing my best to stay on top of my visitors. Obviously, I need literally an infinite amount of copper is what it feels like. So um, yeah, doing my best. But obviously, some of the trades are more tedious than others. But there we go. We're back up to 3,000 copper. And uh, the big thing, I actually got my new personal best in that farming contest. Uh, what's this one? I guess I got a little bit of pumpkin, probably from killing the pest. But yeah, there we go, 857,000 sugarcane. My previous personal best was like 834 or something. Yeah, 834k. This time we got 857, which will give me a little bit more uh, sugarcane fortune. So yeah, up to 42.86 sugarcane fortune uh, due to my personal best. So we're going to go ahead and claim that. Don't mind if we do. Yeah, we're starting to rack up the medals. We have 10 gold, 6 silvers, 6 bronzes. And um, honestly, nothing to spend them on. I'm going to be completely honest. But either way, we will we will take that. I'm still working towards better personal best because it will help us in our grind for uh, um, maxing out our garden milestones. So 
every little bit counts, I, I do suppose. And uh, yeah, we have three more pests here. Currently, we're up to 205 total pests, if you count what's in my vacuum. Not too shabby, not gonna lie. Either way, uh, still a massive grind ahead of us, gonna be honest. And um, we kind of just need to keep chugging away at it slowly but surely. And that's what I've been trying to do. Also, I have nowhere to put these turbo books now. This is this is getting absurd. Okay, this is a little bit of a strange one. Um, this is YouTuber privilege at its finest. I currently have um, Skyblock all to myself. Literally all to myself. Uh, there's some admins in Hub 1 still fixing the maintenance, but yeah, they wanted to uh, test things on me because when I joined earlier, like Skyblock went out of maintenance for a second and I joined and I was fully wiped, lost everything. Skills, items, you name it, it was all gone. That's how I started freaking out and uh, Dio basically wanted to make sure that it was fixed. And I also found like a spot where you weren't getting some Skyblock XP from. Like I joined the game and I was down five levels. So that's getting fixed right now too. But I have the server to myself, literally to myself. Like, look, let's go to the end. Why not? Let's see uh, who's here. Oh, me. Let's go to the Crimson Isle. I wish I had to like grind something in one of these areas right now, but I, I don't. We have the Crimson Isle all to ourselves. The server is completely empty except for your boy. So we are currently the only player besides admins on Hypixel at the moment, which is um kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Like, what else can I do? Like, is there a broodmother spot? Let me go get my broodmother. Uh, like, I, I don't even know. Like, what do I do? No way, broodmother's not spawn, bro. Oh my goodness, please. Oh well, I have I have the lobby to myself if I wanted. Like. Okay, like it's it's so weird. It's such a weird feeling. Oh, I want to mine some dark oak without being contested. Let me go over to the uh, the forging islands. Yep, uncontested dark oak area. That would be nice right now, wouldn't it? Uh, your boy's going to the garden. So, what a waste of this opportunity, I guess you could say. But yeah, server's fully empty. It's uh, it's weird. You know, no one's here. So I guess I'll I'll just be by my lonesome in my garden. And some pests. Why not? Right? I guess that's all I have to do. Okay. No! Wait, no, he gave himself wheat! No, 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 I was diamond with 0%! He just gave himself wheat with like 10 seconds left. What a monster! No! No! Oh my god. I got trolled. I actually got trolled so hard. <laughs> oh no. I was top 0% in wheat with 2,000 wheat collected. <laughs> no, he actually gave himself some. Oh, okay, that's a little bugged. Okay, yeah. Diamond with 3,400, yeah. Ah, oh, Dio, you monster. I knew he was gonna do it, I had a feeling, but I was hoping I could get a diamond in, uh, in wheat with like 2,000 collection, but um, he changed his mind. Well. Rest in peace, that clip. That is tragic. I had diamond with, I was top 0% with the four people in the contest. It was great. But, uh, he's taken it away from me. So, honestly, I've been saving up pests for a good while now. And I was waiting for a contest that I wanted to do. But then I realized, like, I don't want to do a contest for a little while. I kind of just want to keep on grinding up pests and milestones and various crops I want to do. And I have 87 pests chilling in my vacuum right now, which is um, on the large amount side. Not to mention, last night also hit another sugarcane milestone. So we're up to sugarcane 36, and uh, we're over halfway to max milestone for sugarcane, which is pretty amazing. So very happy about that. But yeah, I, I, I should have handed these in a long time ago. And I have my reasoning. Like, for example, if I didn't have said item, then it would be okay if I held on to them. But... I'm just wasting not having the pest hunter artifact. It's literally another 20% pest chance. And if I'm grinding pests, then what am I doing? So we're going to go ahead and hand in our 87 pests. That gives us 200 extra farming fortune. We're then going to go ahead and uh, where am I trying to go? My accessory bag, right? Let's go ahead and grab out our pest hunter ring. We can go ahead and talk to Philip here. Hey, bud. Can I, can I, can I talk to you, please? Thank you. Uh, wait, what? Oh my god, it doesn't let you've exchanged enough pests recently. Try emptying your vacuum bag later. There's a cap on how many you can hand in at a time. I'm eight short. Wow, okay. Well, I guess I'm I guess I'm going for a little while. Do I have to wait for like this boost to run out? That's actually insane. What? So how many did it take? 40? I think it took 40 pests. 40 is the max you can hand in at a time. That is so weird. Okay, good to know. Okay, something actually pretty cool here. I just got a drop from a fly, a pretty fly vinyl. And uh, you might be wondering, it's a vinyl, why do we care? 
it's the last unique one I was missing. I now have all 10 unique vinyl discs, which is pretty cool. Do these things NPC sell for anything? Because like the ones I have four of, a thousand coins. I mean, honestly, I might start NPC selling these. Like I don't need, I will never need this many vinyls of like rats and earthworms and crickets. Like I, I just don't need this many vinyls. But either way, we have all 10 unique now, which is honestly pretty exciting uh, i'm happy about that and uh this chest is starting to fill up man all my garden stuff like i don't have enough space for any of these condensed fermentos now either like I, I need to uh do a full cleaning out of this because like i don't need these can i npc sell them i literally might even throw them on the ground i'm gonna be honest i like i, I don't need those at all let me move some fermento up i'm committing to getting rid of that these these need to go please tell me i can npc i can't okay well they're gonna go on the floor over here. Bye, guys. Hopefully, I don't drop out like my Hyperion or something. Oh, I'm too. I'm picking them all up though. Drop them all here, please. Get out of my inventory. I do not need you. Okay, now we can finally go ahead and get our hands on the maxed badge. Like we can finally upgrade this accessory to the uh, the max tier, which is super nice. So it'll give us another twenty percent bonus pest chance. But as you can see, I'm at two hundred forty-two pests donated. I have fifty-five pests in my vacuum again. And the maximum amount this thing can take is 40. So anyone who didn't know, 40 pests gives you 200 farming fortune for 30 minutes. Now you know. But yeah, let's go ahead and donate those. And that should uh, give us the ability to buy the Pest Hunter Artifact for 100,000 coins and the Pest Hunter Ring. Don't mind if we do. There we go, a little Pest Hunter Artifact. I want to do some dungeons really soon so I can actually get uh, some of the stuff upgrade and get some recoms. But there we go, 4 Skyblock XP, which is super nice. I got a tuning point, apparently, that was auto-assigned. Uh, I'm at 1,333 magical power now. We're actually getting up there, genuinely, but that was a really nice one to have done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, properly locate this thing. Let's go and uh, find Buddy its own home. I'll do this uh, off camera here in a sec. But yeah, another max accessory. Just got to recom it now. One thing that's super nice now is if we go and look, my pest chance, my bonus pest chance is now up to 148%. Which is amazing. So I have a 100% chance to get a second bonus pest. And I have a 48% chance to get a third pest spawn all at the same time. Which is really nice because honestly before this upgrade it felt like I was getting a decent amount. But this will help a ton. I'm assuming this is a mod I have that keeps track of this. But it says I'm garden level 17. Which is funny. Uh, so I, I'm assuming there's just like a mod that calculates like if garden level actually kept going up that's what you'd be at but uh either way garden 17 baby look at this go <laughs> plus respect from elite farmers and sky handy members so yeah i'm assuming that's just a, a sky handy thing one of the mods i use for all my garden stuff but still a funny and wonky message to see all at the same time so i thought i'd point that out but i'm up to six thousand copper right now and i think we go for another crop upgrade i do um Obviously, I wanted to save 2500 in case we get the drop for to upgrade our vacuum. But if I'm 500 off, I can live with that. I'll sweat it out and get it done. So uh, not not too too pressed about that. But I say we go ahead and just upgrade our sugarcane fortune. Um, this is why I've been farming a lot to spawn my pest due to the fact of it being a two-plot farm. I've also just been kind of headlocked in on I want to max this crop. And we're 55% of the way there. So I've been working towards that. And an extra five fortune, you know what? It goes a long way. So... I think that's what we're going to do for 4,000 copper. Let's get it done. Our first tier 9 crop upgrade. Boom. Plus 1 skyblock XP and 5 sugarcane fortune. Don't mind if we do, but I need to get a 411 more copper now. Just in case we get extremely lucky and do actually drop the chirping stereo. Because, man, I want a legendary vacuum so bad it would go so hard. But... Yeah, let me get back to work. Also, through grinding pests for the last good while, uh, yeah, bestiary tiers just keep on rolling in, which is so great. And uh, we actually just hit a milestone too, which is super nice. Oh, our next one gives 10 Skywalk XP already? That's actually insane. Wait, what What bestiary milestone am I up to? What the? My goodness. I feel like we just did the 10 XP one. 259. Yeah, so 260 is up next after nine more bestiary tiers. But in terms of our garden bestiaries in general... Don't have any max yet, obviously, but right now I'm getting an extra 35.2 farming fortune from these. Some of my highest ones are like mites at 54. I've got mosquitoes at 45, rats at 49. One more rat actually for a milestone, which is super nice. Earthworms at 45. Those have been so much fun. Uh, some of the ones I'm lacking in though, uh, flies, I'm at 19. Moths, I'm at 17. Slugs, I'm at 12. 
So, uh, yeah, there's definitely a few I'm not getting a ton of, but the four that, like, I'm mainly getting are definitely, like, the ones that spawn from tasty cheese and compost. That's what I've been spraying my fields with literally nonstop. But we have slowly but surely been getting some of the drops. I've used one honey jar before, but I haven't used any of the other custom ones. So, like, we have 10 dung, 3 honey jars, 10 plant matter, and, um, yeah, those are the other three, right? So, and then we have compost and tasty cheese, which I've honestly just been switching between because I have the most of those. And, um, yeah, so far so good. I might start using some of these other ones, though, as I want to even them out, like, even though some of my bestiaries. But so far, I'm kind of just going and watching the bestiaries rack up. Speaking of rats, I hear one. Hey, buddy. He must have just spawned. And uh, there we go. Tasty cheese as well. Very fitting. But that is rat 11. So, yeah, we are, we are racking up these tiers. And, oh, another rat. Yeah, let's start working towards level 12, baby. How many kills is it for 12? Like 50 or something done? 30. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I'll take a minute. Ooh, a couple drops from that batch. Buzz and Beats Vinyl and Bookworm's Favorite Book. Don't mind if we do. I think this is our third one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're at two of the five, uh, which is nice that it says there. But yeah, let's make it three. There we go. Now our vacuum does 230 damage and then double that, right? So our vacuum's doing 460 damage right now, which honestly is not that bad. And, um,. Yeah, I'll take it. Man, these vinyls, though. Like, what do I do with these things? Buzz and Beats vinyl. I only have one of these, I guess. Like, I guess I'll hold on to it. Like, what? I'll hold on to this Fermento for now, too, I guess. But my goodness, is this uh, this backpack's filling up faster than I want it to. Holy, the drops are coming in. Another pair of clipped wings. This is the one that gives double damage uh, to your vacuum. Like, man, if I was on a regular profile, I would just sell so much stuff and make so much money. It would be great. All the extra drops I get while trying to max things for XP, like, you can just get so rich in this game. It's, it's actually insane. Also, I can't remember if I just hit a bestiary tier in Earthworm or not. This might be the bestiary tier. Actually, I don't think it is. I think I just hit a bestiary tier, didn't I? I think I'm mistaken. Nope, I was not. Earthworm 11. I knew it was close. I couldn't remember if I hit it the last Earthworm or if this was it, but yeah. Almost top 250 in Earthworms, so uh, 250 more people have suffered more than I have from these things, but man, it's good to be a fifth of the way done, I guess, right? So I was playing some Garden last night, and uh, I wasn't able to record some clips, so I figured I'd just go over some of my drops from last night. And honestly, part of me isn't even sure what everything is that I got, but I got a decent amount of stuff. I was farming for a, a large amount of time, if we go ahead and head over here, as you guys can see. I went up a sugar cane milestone, I'm already 26% towards 38. So yeah, we're nearly 60% of the way to sugar cane, uh, maxing out sugar cane, which is pretty exciting if you ask me. But yeah, we're currently at 75.8 million sugar cane here on the garden. And here's some of the drops from last night. I got another, another bookworm's favorite book. I got, uh, a vi I got a bunch of vinyls, I'm going to be honest. I'm literally running out of space for these things, as you can see. I also got more clipped wings. Like, let me see the drop times on these. Yeah, these two I got. I got two more clipped wings within, like, six minutes of each other, man. So, not sure what to do with those. Um, I think you guys saw the beady eyes. If you didn't, though, I got another beady eyes. Then, got another pretty fly vinyl. Just a bunch of vinyls, man. Like, there, there's so many of them now. Like, I don't know what to do with these, so... I need to find a home for these. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Uh, way too many. <laughs> And, um, yeah, this, uh, this backpack is now fully filled out. So I think I'm going to go back to my island and empty out some stuff. Like, I don't need some of these Kudrama pieces. I don't need this backpack full of this. I like keeping my fumings on me, but there's definitely a lot of backpacks here that I can empty out and, uh, hopefully find a home for, you know? So that's the goal. Let me go, uh, do some organizing. But either way, I was farming for a while. Um, I have 128 pests in my vacuum, which I think is a good way of, uh, of showing. And also... Look how close we are to our next bestiary milestone. One off. And the next one gives 10 Skyblock XP. So you know what? Maybe I'll hop in the farm before I go organize and uh, hit a bestiary milestone. And then we'll go ahead and uh, proceed with organizing. Because we're so close. That would just be such a tease if I leave it at 9 out of 10. From a milestone that gives a million combat XP and 10 Skyblock XP. So let me hop back in the farm for a second. Also, last thing. The Slug Pet. This thing's almost level 100, level 99. It's beautiful. Okay, we already had three pest spawns. Let's see if uh, any of these are one that I need to complete a milestone. Beetle? Nope. I don't think mosquito. I'm. I think I hit one not too long ago. But mosquitoes, I'm. 
I'm starting to climb up the kills for. We have one more pest somewhere. Let's see, where is this guy? Earthworm. I don't think I'm at Earthworm tier either. But man, Earthworms are so annoying because even if I like I do enough damage to two tap this thing. But you have to three tap it every time anyways. So it's like what's the point of like increasing my damage, you know? So either way, we're uh, we're getting there. Let me go and grab this bad boy. There we go. No milestones on those. Also, I did forget to actually slap on our fourth bookworms worm book thingy. There we go. Another set of pests. Is this one going to do it? Uh, three mosquitoes. My goodness. Enchanted sugarcane. Hey, I'll take it. Um, I mean, honestly, it's the crop I have by far the most of right now, but you know, I'll, I'll still take it. I don't think I'm close. To oh, I was. Wait, mosquito 12. That's my first uh, level 12 bestiary. 80 mosquitoes. It was actually the perfect amount. Yeah, we're 105th ranked in mosquitoes right now, which is uh kind of insane. Your boy's been going crazy with the pests. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, 80, 71, 71 over here, 62. Yeah, we're 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 out here climbing, man. But let's go ahead and warp over to the aisle because we want to go ahead and claim this milestone so we actually get some XP onto our um, what we call it, our Kudra as well. Why not, right? And uh, I guess I'll just hold my Daedalus axe. I don't really know what else to hold. But yeah, let's go ahead and claim this Beast Year 8. Milestone 260. This will level us up as well. Boom. There we go. And the level up message. Do I get my level up message? I don't think I get my level up message. It hasn't counted as, a, as me leveling up yet. That is brutal. Okay, let's go back to the island. Still have hope for my message? No, no. We're just level... We're level 371 now. But, man... That was good. We're getting there. So I think this is where I'm going to call it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. We're currently up to 416 total pests uh, exterminated, I guess you could say, from our garden. And max, like, beast series is 2,500. So we're nearly a fifth of the total, except for it's not really going to work like that because we're going to end up with a lot more of other pests compared to other ones. So, like, for example, like, mosquitoes. I'm going to have way more mosquitoes than uh, some of the other ones by the time I max those beast series. But either way, I'm just having fun with garden right now. I don't know why. I find it really enjoyable. I've just been farming, taking care of my pets, filling up my composter, taking care of visitors. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying the grind because we have a lot more garden ahead of us. But maybe we'll spice it up for tomorrow's video. Let me know you guys want to see me grind in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video all the way to the end. Also, how wonky was it having Skyblock all to myself for a couple hours earlier? And I decided to farm. So, um, yeah, something's wrong with me. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use code Zach when checking out the Hypixel store. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.